This is Mongolia, a nation with a rich and proud history. By the middle of the 13th century, the Mongol Empire was at its height. Its borders stretched from the Korean Peninsula and the Pacific Ocean in the east to modern-day Romania in the west. At the heart of the mighty empire was the city of Harahorin. The Mongol Empire's foundations lay in the nomadic tribes who came together to create a fearsome fighting force. Genghis Khan's Mongol warriors were the finest horsemen the world had ever seen. They were able to wield a lance or shoot from a bow whilst galloping towards their enemies in all weather conditions. Nearly 800 years later, these proud traditions are still maintained by the country's one million nomadic people who are linked to the land by their ancient heritage. As a nomadic herder, I have inherited everything I have and everything I am from my parents, and they in turn from their parents. We are bound together by our ancient ways, the love of horses, the practice of traditional sports, like archery and wrestling. All these things make us who we are. They create what it means to be Mongolian. Mongolia's strength in warfare stemmed from their warriors' exceptional ability with a bow and arrow. Genghis Khan's mounted archers were known to be able to hit targets over 500 meters away whilst galloping at full speed. The modern archer shoots from a more modest 75 meters in traditional archery competitions, but respect for the old ways of dress and the ritual of scoring the archer's performance in song is still well preserved here. Those of us born and raised here in Harahorin feel a real duty to follow closely the ancient ways of traditional archery. We are blessed to be able to practice our sports here in the shadow of the oldest monastery in our country. And it is our primary duty to pass these traditions down to the next generation. Throughout Mongolia, every region holds its own traditional sports festival, or Nardan. Archery, horse racing and wrestling events are contested and the customs and rituals have changed little in over 800 years as a way for Mongol warriors to test their strength and skill away from the battlefield. In the old days, it was only really the older generations or a few professionals who used to shoot bows. But over the last three or four years, archers have been getting younger and younger. We've gone from 200 archers competing at the National Nadam Festival to over 500. It proves just how much this sport has really grown. In traditional archery, anybody from 8 to 80 can compete together. And that's what makes this sport so great. The traditional Mongolian bow has remained unchanged for almost 2,000 years. It's a composite construction of layers of birch wood, cow horn and animal sinews glued together by boiled animal hide and then left for a year to dry. Today it's used for competitions and hunting, but in the 13th century it was the weapon that helped to create the most feared empire the world had ever seen. We still make our bows the way they were made during the time of the Great Mongolian Empire. There's absolutely no deviation from it. We still use the same materials and follow the same methods laid down by our ancestors. I hope that in thousands of years' time, Mongolians will still be following these ancient ways. And so we must do all we can to preserve this part of our cultural heritage. One of Kharakhorin's most famous sons is the freestyle wrestler Zidig Oidov. At the 1976 Montreal Olympics, he won silver in the men's 62 kilogram freestyle wrestling event. He was also a two-time world champion. Today, wrestling remains Mongolia's most popular sport. It's been in existence in Mongolian culture since the dawn of recorded history. During the Mongol Empire, warriors wrestled in order to stay fit for battle. 
The sport is governed by strict rules which emphasize respect for one's opponent. The elaborate costumes and rigorously observed etiquette has changed little over the centuries. I started wrestling at 13 years of age. For us Mongolians, wrestling is a part of our heritage and every Mongolian family wishes their son to become a wrestler. We feel part of an ancient tradition. My father, my grandfather and my great-grandfather were all great wrestlers. My ambition is to continue my family's proud tradition in the sport. In Mongolian wrestling, there are no weight or age divisions. Tournaments are run on an elimination system, where, in the space of a few hours, the numbers of surviving competitors decreases until there is one supreme champion left. Aside from the big national competitions where professional wrestlers compete, every region holds its own tournaments. Here in Kharahorin, keen amateur wrestlers hope that victory could one day lead to the chance to compete at the top events in the nation's capital, Ulaanbaatar. The reason why we are so obsessive about this sport is that it lies in our DNA. It's fundamental to who we are and what makes us Mongolian. So, of course, I'm proud of its traditions, its history and how it connects us with our past. Sport in general has been enjoying a much higher profile in Mongolia in recent years. Harakhorin has just opened its new indoor sports complex, built at a cost of nearly 2 million US dollars. Government policy has increasingly seen sport as a key way to bring isolated communities together and to promote health and well-being. With an average life expectancy of 67 years, Mongolia is behind neighbors Russia and China. It's hoped that new facilities like these will encourage participation in many activities throughout the year. For the city's sports administrator, the future is looking bright. This complex has been a source of pride, not just for me, but for the whole city and region. It's great for the local kids, and it will make such a difference to the whole community. This centre is twice the size of anything else outside of the capital, so it's a serious investment in our region's future. For Harahunin too, it really puts us on the sporting map. In Karahorin and across the nation as a whole, more modern sports like basketball and football are capturing the imagination of Mongolia's younger generation. With NBA games and English Premier League football matches shown live on Mongolian TV, young players now have new role models to emulate and to inspire them to sporting success. Yet despite the competition for attention from the superstars of Europe and North America, there are still many youngsters keen to pursue the ancient ways of Mongolian wrestling. For these young wrestlers, it's a long way to the glory of a national Nardam competition, but their motivation and commitment seems as strong as ever. Wrestling is so fundamental to what it means to be Mongolian. Mongolia has 21 provinces, and each has its own wrestling ring. So there is a real commitment to see this traditional sport survive. Mongolian wrestling is gradually becoming more professional, like sumo. Thankfully, we still see large numbers of kids wanting to learn and participate in this sport. So I am optimistic that traditional sports will not just survive, but thrive too. In Mongolia, traditional sports like archery, wrestling and horse riding are more than just bygone relics. They provide an unbreakable link between the country's past, present and future. <laughs>